guys, welcome back to Exploring Temecula, January 2023's market update. And I want to strongly suggest this year, if you are thinking of relocating to this area, that you watch these. Because in my opinion, the narratives on the news that everybody's talking about don't always play out. But when I'm giving you uh, specific data for three uh, local cities that is updated every month, you can draw conclusions, in my opinion, a lot better than you can on what the narrative is going to be throughout the United States, uh, the biggest one now being interest rates. Uh, be very careful. It's, it's happened so often that what people are, what the general public is talking about, what the news is talking about, doesn't always happen or play out the way it's supposed to be. So let's get into January 2024's market update and learn what's going on and what could happen in the future uh, for the local real estate market. Okay guys, so we're gonna jump right into January's market update. I'm a few days late, but uh, this is gonna give you a really good idea of just showing you what goes on, you know, especially from November, December, January, uh, in the market in Southern California, if you're not from around here, we're taking a look at Temecula, Murrieta, and Menifee. I do three cities, they are all very close to one another uh, because it gives a bigger sample size uh, and it sort of uh, eliminates the outliers in regards to statistics in a lot of cases. Uh, the first one we're going to go uh, uh, take a look at is new listings. And this is such a good sign, guys. If you look on 2023, in June, when, you know, June, May, June, July, those are the highest months, I would say, historically in Southern California, where the most homes uh, are on the market. It was dreadfully low uh, when you compare it even to the previous uh, years. Like, if you look here, June 2023, you had 166 homes listed, uh, newly listed homes in Temecula, 202 in Murrieta and 182 in Menifee. The last June was 252 in Temecula, 306 and 285. Those numbers are massive differences compared to previous years. So what I'm hoping is please, please, please for buyers that we get some relief in this next spring and we can see these numbers right here go back up to at least at least this level here uh, make it reasonable um, and that i think that's going to help a lot of people out um, you know you can do what you want with the news our rates going to go down i have no idea uh, you know everybody says that but it's almost like when somebody says something or you hear it on the news you do the opposite of what everybody's saying or the narrative is uh, but anyway <clears throat> it is a good sign that in january that is historically still a relatively slow month uh, that the listing inventory went up substantially from December. There was literally nothing on the market in December. Uh, January, we almost doubled the numbers. Active listings, uh, this is, I can see this number in the coming months either staying stagnant or going down a little bit. Why? You know, the actual listings on the market are going to be few and far between. I'm dealing with this right now with a few buyers. It's just nothing to buy, or, or there's a lot less to buy uh, than previous months, previous years. Uh, so, and you know, unless we get a substantial increase in inventory in the spring, I do think that this is still going to stay level because there is still a huge demand for homes. I know you don't believe it or you might not believe it, but that's just the way it's going right now. Uh, even these homes that, you know, if it's priced right, even at seven, 800, 850,000, these homes are still selling. So uh, hopefully uh, we can see this number rise as well. And that will give a little bit, why am I giving you this information? Because every month, and this is why you should watch these videos, if you see the listing inventory get up to this level or this level right here, you know as a buyer that you don't have to be as aggressive on your offers moving forward if there's a lot of homes that are still, that are list active listings on the market. Also, uh, you know, if you see new listings rising, um, you know, same thing. It's like, 
when I'm serving my buyers, I take this information <laughs> along with just the local knowledge. I have every, you know, everything, but this information is important to me because I can basically tell my buyers, hey, you know, the market's really tight right now. Uh, if you see a home that you really like, you're probably going to have to be really strong with your offer to get it accepted. Uh, and you know that's why I do these and this is why it's important for you, uh, not only as a buyer, but also as a seller. Days on the market, uh, they've gone up. Um, I, I think this days on the market is in direct correlation to what time of year it is. There's just not a lot of people looking for homes during Thanksgiving and Christmas and the first uh, month in January. So uh, do I see this number going down? Yes, I do see in the springtime. Um, I would, I would, if I was to guess, I would say we're gonna level off to these, you know, this right here, uh, you know, 14 days, maybe uh, average days on market, 20, 23. I mean, I would, that's, that would be my guess. Could be totally wrong, but uh, that's where I see where the average days sort of going to. Uh, hopefully it's not lower than that. Again, it's another factor and another telltale sign. If we're getting down into these five, six, seven days on the market, like all through 2021, 2022, uh, you are, and when I send you a listing as a buyer, you are seeing that home that day. If you don't, uh, you are probably not gonna get the house because it's not going to last two weekends in a row. Okay, so next up, percentage of original list price. We are still at, it's been at 100% uh, for a long time, all the way back to 2022. Uh, it did dip below a little bit in 2022, but not too much. The thing that I tell people with this uh, right here, you know, even if you go down to 90, no, sorry, 93, 90, you know, eight or 99 on an $800,000 home, that's still $16,000 less on average people are getting. Uh, so right now in the month of January, people are getting on average in all three of these cities, 100% of what they originally listed it for. I'm sure some get lower, but some also get higher. Uh, so that goes to show you that Again, you know, as long as you're not crazy with your list price, eventually your home is going to sell. And finally, the sales price. Uh, average sales price in Temecula is 721,000, Murrieta 650,000, and Menifee 570,000. Again, I tell buyers all the time, Temecula, you know, I, I give it a 10% difference between Temecula and Murrieta, and then about another 10%, maybe 12% from Murrieta to Menifee. Why is there a price difference between these cities? Well, in my opinion, Murrieta and Temecula are almost the same city in regards to what the city offers you in way of safety, recreational activities, the outdoors, uh, the convenience of uh, you know everyday things that you need to have a good life, grocery stores, all of that stuff. Um, Temecula is, I would say, because of wine country, because it's more of a vacation destination, because it's more well known, maybe because it's more, it's closer to San Diego. Uh, that's probably the biggest differences in way of price, because in way of schools, Murrieta and Temecula are very similar in way of ratings. You're probably not, or you're not going to go wrong with either city. Uh, Menifee definitely. I'm not saying all schools are bad in Menifee. They're probably better in Menifee than most areas throughout Southern California. Uh, but there are areas, I would guess, of Menifee that don't have as good of schools. And in Southern California, just like the rest of the nation, uh, schools and school ratings do drive prices to some degree. I would say it's in the top you know, three or four things that drive home prices. Uh, but there you have it, guys, a quick overview for January 2023. If you have any further questions, please reach out to me. I'd be glad to help. Uh, and uh, yeah, see you on my next video.